Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. This reading is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it just leave it aside. If it doesn't feel right, it doesn't resonate, most likely it is just not for you. And that's okay. It's a general reading, so it does happen. If, however, you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of guidance, you're in search of answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the um, information on the different type of readings that I can offer you so we can go and find those answers that you're searching for. Also, if you've been to the channel before or if it's, you know, the very first time that you've come to the channel and you do enjoy the message, you do enjoy the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. Now, this reading here is, um, it's a very, all readings are important, but this one here is particularly very important. This is you must hear why must you hear? Because it's love messages from your partner. These are things, these are messages, they are words, they are feelings that your partner wants to tell you, but never does for a various, you know, different amount of reasons. So it's the unsaid that I'm going to tell you. How's that? But you know, in general, this is good. There are love messages from your partner. You know, we talk not enough about, you know, all other problems we come seeking, you know, for answers when things aren't going all that well. Well, you know what? Let's seek for some beauty also. So let's go and get some beauty into the relationship here. And um, let's see what's in store for you. So this sign here, by the way, this reading is dedicated to the sign of Virgo. So with no further ado, let's go see what love messages are for you. The very first card on the top is a lover's oracle. So this is for the very end. I'm sorry, it's not a lover's oracle. It doesn't want to fit. It's a heart and soul. Okay, it's going to come right here. All right, so um, let's begin. I have a variety of uh, different decks that I've been using here today. I'm using a lot of fairy messages. I have witches messages. I have change, love, healing. I have romance. Hmm, here, I have fighting, quarreling, I have transformation, I have hand fasting, I have attraction, and I have true love. All right, so let's begin. So it's looking like um, into this relationship here. Um, to begin with, I'd have to say that, okay, there's some fighting going on. I know there is. They still love you. Um, but they would like for, you know, things to change a little bit while you're fighting, when you fight. Uh, you know, um, it seems as though whenever you're fighting, one when you, one person, I don't know if it's you or if it's your partner, just doesn't listen anymore. So this needs to be changed. This needs to be modified. The, you know, the childish type of behavior that I'm not listening anymore and I'm leaving, that's not going to give you anything good. So if it's you, it needs to stop. And if it's your partner, well, they need to work on it and they're aware of it. So this is very important for, you know, the for the fighting, you need to be careful about that. That being said, I do feel as though your relationship is in a transformation mode. Uh, things are changing. They're changing at a cellular level. This is about deep healing. And while healing, you're growing and you're changing and you're transforming. And while you're doing all of those steps, your relationship is doing those steps also because your partner has to follow up also. Because what if you change? What if you're not the same person than you were because you did all this healing and changing and transformation and you realize so many different things, when you change, your relationship must change and follow the dynamics also. So this is really about a transformation within the relationship and your partner is completely aware and completely in accordance. They do want to have the tran this transformation done. As much on their side as on your side, I feel as though they have some transformation to do also. Um, 
Next, I have the uh, union. So this relationship here is heading for somewhere good, okay? It's heading for something um, interesting. It's heading for something that's full of love, something like you would like to have into a long-term relationship. So you are heading into the right way. Their, um, their thoughts of the relationship are positive. Their, um, the, their goals of the relationship are positive. And, you know, you need to keep that in mind, even though, you know, you do have quite some arguments. You need to keep that in mind mind that the love is always there and the the goal and wanting to be together you know for a long period of time is always present um i have here attraction and true love so you know attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying every moment fully so of course they really enjoy this about you they enjoy the fact that you know what you like doing things and when you do things usually that well of course that are fun you know that are joyful you are smiling and they love your smile they want you to know they love your smile they love your laughter they enjoy it very much and they find great comfort in it um also um i have the card here of true love this is the romance of a lifetime so this is really about a love it's a deep love they love you they care for you they want the very best for you which is why they're going to be following you throughout the transformation over here because there's some healing to be done I feel there's some healing and I have some healing over here um so they are going to follow you throughout all of this um the um, the angels here seem to be saying that you know what if you believe into the relationship because you must believe it even in periods when it's not going all that well keep in mind your goal keep in mind the love uh, don't forget that if you believe you believe in yourself you believe in your partner you believe into the relationship the union you can go somewhere well the situation is going to improve but you need to remain positive okay you need to remain positive um I have a lot of romance going on into the um, into the uh, into the relationship here, and well, you know, romance is you know playfulness is just a part of the call. Uh, let's see, for joy is the highest vibration of all. I'll bring you romance, and I'll show you the one invoking a love spell that can't be undone to bring about passions, kisses, and laughter to be in your heart happily ever after and is that not just what you want a happily ever after to have a deep desire to connect with another and your heart just yearns for romance for flowers for hearts for chocolate for intimacy singing to your soul to be swept off your feet uh, just like into the fairy tales right I know it's life is not like fairy tales but it is really what we do want and this is what romance is so this is really you know romance isn't just about a partnership it's about bringing romance into your life at any time you can do it with playfulness with laughter appreciating the beauty around you treating yourself to those little luxuries delighting in who you are these are all very important things that are necessary moving over to the change the love and the healing well the love love is what it really is the base of our being devoid of all pride devoid of all fear love is deep it's complex emotion it's a state of being it's a continual embrace of the heart and the universe was built on love so besides food clothing shelter love is really the greatest need of all and it is the natural state of the soul so to love is to give the best of yourself without and with acceptance and appreciation and this is what they're doing there are many types of love there's romantic there's familiar there's platonic and love is fully giving of your heart's truth without a doubt to care deeply is to want to love those okay so be safe be happy be healthy and be fulfilled an ongoing flow of love is within your heart and is to give freely this is about opening your eyes opening your heart every moment becomes charged with an ever-present breath of love and your soul pulses with the heart's melody this is what they want for you. And they also want you to heal and they want you to change. Okay, so not change. Wait, I'm going to get to the change. They want you to heal. Um, they want you to heal like over here with the transformation. A healthy body thrives through a constant flow of balanced energy. You need to heal from the past. You need to heal from the heartache that you've had into this relationship. And you need to heal from the heartache that you have in the past relationships that are somewhat sometimes being transferred into this one. And a change, you need to expand your flexibility for change. And you're going to enjoy the flexibility and the vitality of life ahead. So change is not bad. Modifications aren't bad. Change goes with a card of transformation. It's really about modifying 
allowing certain parts of us or the way that we do some things to better ourselves, to better our life. So that being said, um, this does conclude the messages that your partner wants to give you, wants to transmit to you. The um, Oracle card says, help is on its way. The raging sea will soon abate and a great light will heal your heart. This is a time to deep, profound and positive transformation. But courage, strength and patience are required. You are supported by the sea of love. So this, my dear friends, Virgo, is the ending of your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. If you have any questions you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. And meanwhile, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. Thank you so very much for being there. And I'll be seeing you soon with some more readings. Have a great day.